Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It is Friday and it is April the 1st, 2022. Happy April Fools to all of you. Uh, no cards this week, nothing showed up, so nothing to report. Or maybe all oh, this showed up this week. So yeah, I got lots to talk about. This parcel I've done a video on already, so if you haven't seen that, you can go back in the catalog and check it out as uh, my surprise uh, gift showed up from Lithuania. Great video, uh, thank you so much for that. And uh, these 16 cards and envelopes showed up this week. No official um, post-crossing stuff, all from either viewers like you guys, um, people that have reached out to do swaps, uh, my continuous swap, so every time I get a card, I send a card back. Uh, all sorts of that sort of stuff happening this week. And very proud and excited to show you what did show up. So we're going to get to that soon. Thank you for liking and subscribing and um, leaving all those comments. And you know what? If you want questions answered, go to my That Dead Guy Answers video. So the last one I put up, um, if you go back to that, Leave a comment in there with your questions and I'll answer it tomorrow in my video. I've got a couple questions in there already, but if you want to bolster what uh, I'm going to talk about tomorrow, go leave me some questions and I'll answer it tomorrow. That being said, outside, you guys always seem to like to know what the weather is here in uh, Eastern Canada. It is 12 degrees right now. We had some light rain. Uh, the snow is melting away. I just have a little bit in my backyard and a little bit in my front yard now. I am hoping by the end of this weekend it will be all gone. Um, I just happen to be on the right area that the sun hits and it's melting away. My neighbors across the street, it's going to take a little longer for them to get rid of their snow, but I'm hoping that mine will be gone this weekend. And uh, I don't want to see any more. It's the spring. So let's get the, the ground dried and the flowers up and let's get on uh, moving closer to summer. So that being said, let's show you what showed up in the mail this week. First one I have is from Shannon and uh, she sent me this one of Alabama and all the different things that you can do and see in Alabama in the letters there. You've seen these postcards before, I'm sure. Uh, this was a swap that she asked of me because in the back, all she wanted to do was cover the envelope in stamps. So that's what we decided to do. I sent her a postcard and covered the back in Canadian stamps and she sent me this one covered in old American stamps. And there's some nice ones in there. So thank you so much for the idea. It was a cool and different way to do a swap. And it's nice to mix things up a little bit. So uh, every once in a while you, you talk about things, but um, yeah, to do one that's just no words and just postage stamps, that's pretty cool. I like that idea. So thanks, Shannon. The next one comes from Melanie in Quebec, and she sent me this classic car, and uh, she apparently has not been having a lot of mail show up lately. She hasn't done a lot of writing, so she wanted to get back at writing, so she sent me this one, and she sent those stamps, Got some older Canadian stamps there. So thank you, Melanie, for that. The next one also is from Canada, and this is from Allie in St. Stephen, New Brunswick, and she sent a blue cat. So there's very cool. I like the blue cats. I have, don't have too many. I think I've got three or four now. So that's cool. And she talked about what she was uh, planning on doing on her adventures. So uh, if you haven't seen her Instagram, she's Littlest Hobo. And uh, she talks about what she does on a day-to-day -day thing. And she has some adventures with her husband and her son. And so it's cool. Follow along. The next one comes from Linda in Georgia. So not to be confused with some other Lindas that we have, but this is a new subscriber and one that we've done swaps with. She sent me this cool one of a post office in Alabama, in Mooresville. And on the back, look at all the stamps. She's covered it with stamps. That's great. So she knows how much I like stamps and my father likes stamps. So uh, that's cool. Thank you so much. And she, I guess she knows how much I like uh, different post office and mailboxes from my videos. So thank you. The next one's kind of cool. It's a little different. Um, and uh, yeah, let me talk about it first of all. So this one comes from Basil in India. You'll notice that it has a QR code. And I've tried my best. There's only three little steps for following it. You scan the QR code, you download and install the APK, 
and you aim it at the cancellation mark and the butterfly will come to life. It's a virtual reality card. There's a few of them that are out there. If you uh, go on Instagram and follow uh, Basil the Collector or uh, look at some of his reels, he'll show you how this works. I was hoping to have a demonstration of it, but I can't get it to work. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if there's a blockage here or if, uh, yeah, it's just not working for me, but I've seen his and uh, there's a whole bunch of different ones. There's this one, there's a turtle, uh, there's some birds. Um, he's got some Russian uh, uh, ones too that you can do this with, a whole bird series that are recent. So go check that stuff out. Uh, it's pretty cool. And on the back, he's included some stamps because he's a stamp collector as well. Really like this one here. So thank you, and I apologize once again. I know we've communicated back and forth trying to get this to work, and it just uh, it didn't work for me, unfortunately. But uh, I've seen the videos, and they do look cool. Now, the next one comes from Helen in PEI. We got a Where's Waldo card, and there's three things it's asking you to find. A dog with hot dogs, a dog doing paw stand, and a pair of swimming trunks. So if I leave this up on the... Uh, screen for a minute can you see them can you pause the video and try to find those things and then that's it that's all the time you get and there's the stamp editorial cartoon stamp so thank you helen for the cool trade and uh, she talks about uh, maybe not having snow here and uh, we're getting there we're getting there it's almost done the next one comes from lewis in abu dhabi we have this beautiful camel and he was at the Expo 2020 in Dubai. Um, I know it's 2022, but uh, in 2020, there was this little thing going on that made it cancel. So uh, they're now getting around to it in 2022. So he went there and there's the Expo stamp as well to go with it. It was 37 degrees when he sent this. It's mighty warm. He wasn't done there. He sent another one. He sent this one here of uh, the Pandemic Heroes. Mm, I don't see a picture of me in there, but uh, yeah, there are some Pandemic Heroes there. And there's the stamp, nice giant space stamp. And it was 25 that day. So it, uh, it cooled off a little bit in the three days. This one was sent on the 16th and this one on the 19th. So there we go. So thank you, Lewis, for those cards as always. Uh, the next one, we had that one as the pandemic card. Well, here's another pandemic card. And these are the first I've ever gotten. So this one comes from Jilly in England. And uh, she sends this postcard and she puts the matching stamp on there too. And then we got an extra stamp as well for postage. But it's nice to get the matching stamp and postcard together. And uh, the Wembley Stadium stamp is pretty cool as well. So thank you, Jilly, for that. And uh, thank you to all those people that have been working hard through the pandemic to keep us safe. She also sent me another one because she knows how much I like post boxes. These ones came out this year and uh, there's a whole series, I guess, of the different uh, eras of the uh, post box in England. And so this one is from 1874. Uh, we've got an FA Cup stamp on the back. So thank you, Julie, for that. She wasn't done. She sent me this envelope. So this envelope with that stamp you got there of the Rolling Stones. And in it, we've got, we got some peace stickers that I can put on my outgoing cards now. We've got this postcard for Happy Post cro Crossing. It's spring, which uh, it's getting there. It's getting there. It feels like spring now. Hopefully the weather stays nice like this. She sent me a delivery driver card during the pandemic. So uh, there we go. Nice kids artwork to make the stamp up. We've got a keep calm and stand with Ukraine. Um, I watched her video on this and uh, this card is from the Paper Sisters in Germany. So if you're looking at getting cards like this, that's where you go. Paper Sisters at DE or papersisters.de. There's that one. Uh, and then we have this floral arrangement card. We can get these stickers off here, I think. The Yorkshire Tea. There's a Rolling Stones card. A 
radar, scientific achievement. Got this one, an astronomy card. And we've got this owl given a wink. So there we go. Thank you so much, Jilly, for the stickers, for the resupplying of my uh, postcards. That's fantastic. The next one was a direct swap I got, and it's from Petra. And she's used one of the COVID stamps too, and she's got a queen stamp. And we've got Ukraine humanitarian relief um, cancellation mark there. So if you're in the UK, there's the website to go if you want to donate. And inside, Petra. Doo -doo -doo. She had this card from Germany, which is a blank card she sent me. And on the back, though, she gave me these U stamps. So they're just taped on there so I can get them off and uh, use this card again. Anyone knows what that says, I would appreciate a translation of it. And then she is from the south of England, and this is a neighboring town for her. So, uh, yeah, look, look at the gardens and the flowers up. Uh, definitely a summertime shot. Love the architecture. So thank you so much. Thank you for trading with me. And there's some London breakfast tea. And thanks for the idea of a, a swap and reaching out appreciate it. I like it when people do that, and especially when you get some new people to trade with. It's nice to have continuous swaps, so when you build those friendships, you can do that. Now, the next ones, I have three envelopes. This comes from Maria in Helsinki, Finland. And there we're going to have a Christmassy Finnish stamp. But we've got a train postcard from the Railway Museum. And then we have this card from the Craft Museum. Maria is very lucky to be able to go to all sorts of uh, nearby countries and uh, different towns with her, her job. And she gets to go to museums and um, to the ballet and opera and all sorts of wonderful things. And she takes me on her adventure by sending me cards. And so she sent me this envelope, also from Finland. And in it, doo -doo -doo, we have this one here from one of her weekend trips. But there was snow where, where she was when she was there. But there's no snow in this picture. Very nice. The blossoms. And we got a blue cat. So another blue cat has come in, and this is a mailbox blue cat, so extra special. Thank you for that. I appreciate the thoughts and the sentiments that go along with each one of these envelopes that you send. And you sent another one. All right, last one is this one here. Look at the new Ukrainian, well, it's not Ukrainian, but um, the new Estonian postage stamp for peace in the Ukraine. And that is a new stamp because she went and got me the first day cover that goes along with it. So that is extra special. We're all thinking about them. And she included this postcard with the Ukrainian flag. This is while she was in Tallinn in Estonia. And then she also included this. She was off to the museum when she sent it. So wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You're saying that must be enough. There's one more. Now, this one comes from Linda again in Georgia. So she sent a card earlier, but she sent this envelope as the first new forever stamp that I've seen from the US. Uh, last year's were red, now we're into orange. So there's some nice stamps. And in it, we have this old postcard, vintage stamp on it. And that's a real stamp. And that's a real stamp. I didn't notice that the first time, but yeah, they are. And it's blank on the back. 
So I think that's going to be a keeper rather than a send that one back out. Unless I find someone who's really into aviation and into uh, stamps. But otherwise, I don't think I have that old stamp. I'm not sure if my father has that in his collection or not. So this might be a keeper. And then she sent this postcard. Georgia Stone Mountain Park. And on the back, it has the matching stamp to go with it. So those are very cool in keepers. And on top of that, she sent two packs of stamps. I won't show you what those are because I'm going to do another video just on those stamps. So Linda, tune in. You're going to have a video just for you um, because of the stamps that you sent. I'm going to feature them. We're going to open them up, look at the, the different ones. I'm going to make sure the camera can uh, focus on it much better than I did with my last Ukrainian one. Um, it wasn't uh, wasn't focusing as well. So I got a new technique I'm going to try on it and see if it works out better. So yeah, tune in to see what Linda from Georgia sent with the way of stamps over the weekend. And um, yeah, on, speaking of stamps, Ukrainian stamps, if you find any and you want to send them my way, great. I would love to feature them on the video and put them in uh, a package to, as a gift for my father. Um, looking to see what's coming for next week. Uh, I don't have anything else. Nothing has shown up yet for it. So uh, we will see whether I have a video for the Ukraine next week or not. Um, I'm going to go try to get to the local stamp shop again and see if anything has come in there. Um, and then we just wait. If it comes, uh, we get videos. If it doesn't come, we don't get a video for that. We'll get something for, for a different thing. So thank you so much for everyone who's reached out. Thank you for any of you who are about to uh, leave this video at the end and zip over to that dad guy answers video and leave me questions so I can answer them for tomorrow. And uh, thanks just for watching. Thanks for uh, letting me be a part of your day. I know you have lots of different choices out there uh, when it comes to the YouTube, the YouTube, when it comes to YouTube and um, especially post-crossing. There's a, a bunch of different people that put post-crossing material out there and um, my videos sometimes are a little bit different because they're not always about post-crossing. They're about stamps. They're about me going out and having a hike or having a walk and talk. Um, that's what I like to do and uh, I want to mix it up. So you know on certain days I even have requests to say okay I, I'm waiting for your video on this day because I know you're talking about that. So that's great to hear. I love the, the people that are remaining positive and giving good positive feedback. That's great. And hopefully you guys are all uh, maintaining uh, some level of sanity in with what's going on in the world. And just take a deep breath. We'll all get through it eventually. And uh, keeping positive and uh, enjoying uh, these different videos that are coming out by different creators, for me, is a way to relax. I enjoy just... Uh, sitting back and figuring out what's happening in other people's lives, whether it's uh, Caroline's videos on post-crossing and Jilly's and Renee's, and, um, maybe it's Adam the Woo or uh, Jacob the Carpetbagger. These are all different people that I like to tune into and see what they're putting out. Fernando in Portugal. Yeah, there's all sorts of great creators that are putting out content. And hopefully you have a stack of them that you like to watch as well, with me being on the top, of course, and uh, <laughs> promoting uh, all the channels that you do love. So for now, that's a great week. Hopefully you had a great week at the post office too, and uh, you got lots of stuff in your mailbox, and you sent out lots of things, and maybe you're getting new release stamps that you uh, want to share with people. Whatever the case may be, wherever you are, enjoy your weekend. Hopefully you're not tricked by too many April Fool's jokes today. And uh, if it's already tomorrow by the time you're watching this, whew, you made it. We're into April and uh, things can only get better, right? Till next time, stay safe. What Polo? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?